We're starting with 16 and a half inches of 3 eighths by 3 quarter. This is going to be a hind lateral heel extension. Going to put two marks, uh, one mark from the end, it's three and a half inches, and a second mark that is five and three quarters of an inch from there. Okay, we're going to bump our toe here, then we're going to bump our lateral extension here, and we'll put our hockey stick on and hopefully have that all done in a straight, and then it's just a quick, quick bar shoe after that. <laughs> three quarter of an inch in that. Uh, the reason that we're putting three quarter of an inch in is because we're starting with a narrower section and we're gonna bump some width into it. Um, we're building the appropriate section for that foot. So on the front shoe, we started with a wide section and drew it down to size. On the hind shoe here, we're gonna start at a narrow section and bump it to size. We're gonna push it out to the center of our center punch mark and I'm gonna bump it in into this outside branch. Again, what we're trying to do is we're making a narrow section a little bit wider. And so when we go to fuller this shoe, when we go to fuller this shoe, we're not going to hang it up very much. We're going to let our fuller blow it wide. And that'll give us a little bit of extra width. Okay, so I got enough, enough in my, my toe quarter, so I'm going to bump it down. Now we're going to bump from the center of our quarter down. thing is, you'll notice in the bump back, I'm lifting up on my branch. The big thing you notice is as I'm straightening this out, I'm lifting up. So I'm starting to put that quarter pin. What a lot of people struggle with this shoe is they leave it straight right through here. Right there. And so whenever it comes time to weld the shoe up or bend that quarter, it's really difficult because it's actually got a reverse cut in it. So when we build this, is we bump and lift up, use the round side of the hammer, or put the quarter bit, put the inertia bit in, coming towards the inside. Okay, after finishing the bump, what you see is I've got curvature on this inside. On this outside, I do not have an S bend in the outside edge. But it's bumped pretty square on the end. I put three quarter of an inch in the toe, and I put one inch in the lateral branch through there. As I was putting that one inch in, I put about a half of the heat from here to here, then I quenched it out from here up and put the rest of that bump into that. Okay, I'm gonna put my mark on the point of the horn. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hit with the round side of my hammer. What I want is I wanna put an S bend into my hockey stick. What that'll do is as I hit this, it'll straighten out. I'm gonna keep that bottom out at about 100 degrees. We should have about three and a half inches turned up there. Start to roll over, come to the horn, and it out. Now we'll take a heat, forge it out, and upset it just slightly more. We want to have that frog plate slightly offset towards our lateral branch. The reason for that is, is when we go to weld up the other branch, the extra steel from the lateral branch is going to push that section steel to the center. As I hit this down in the cleanup, I'm going to put a lot of angle on that end edge of the hockey stick. And the reason for that is, as this other branch comes in, it's going to come in at an angle. So if I could set my hockey stick up so that I can only overlap equal amount to that whole weld, I'll have a better shoot. Okay? So this angle is important, and you can see how that sex appeal is off to my lateral branch. Okay, I'm going to turn my lateral branch first. 
And the reason for that is, is as we turn, if we were to turn the inside branch first, when we went to turn our lateral branch, our hockey stick would get in our way. Where this way, what we end up happening, is as we bring our hockey stick around, it meets up with our lateral branch. Because I've already got that slight free bend in there, I can start turning that quarter. Okay, so if we had this inside branch across, as we learned to turn our in outside branch, our hockey stick would continue to get in our way. By turning the outside branch first, now when we bend this, that hockey stick's gonna come right around into it. Now we'll turn our inside branch. See how that brought that right around into our previous branch. Whenever I go to put a weld together, I like to have heat in both pieces. If I have heat in both pieces, whenever I introduce them to each other, at this point, before I flux, they're more likely to stick. Right where my elbow is going to be. 